How to have shaders for 1.21.1. Well, this is actually going to be working for a lot of the 1.21 versions. And this one, I'm going to be covering at least Neoforge and Fabric. Forge, it's a little bit more complicated, but we'll get to that in just a second here. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I do have a second tutorial on this just in case you want to check that out as well. All right, so let's get right into this. So for Neoforge, it's relatively simple. You have to go for Sodium, install that, and also get Iris. So these are the two key mods. Sodium gets you the FPS stuff along with compatibility for Iris because Iris requires Sodium in order to work. Iris Shaders is the actual shader mod that you're putting in the shaders to. So once you do that, you go over to the mods shaders. This is the Curse Forge launcher. However, the Mod Rinth launcher also works and really a lot of launchers work for all of this you just want to use these preferably because it makes it a lot easier it makes it simple so for example right here it's Kurt's forge and we're just going to install the shaders needed that's you know we're going to install reimagine for example and also this is an optional thing if you're using complementary shaders either of the options make sure to install euphoric patches as it gives you a bit of a bonus within your entire like minecraft game along with dynamic lights in order to see the dynamic lighting effect like holding out a torch and walk around and if you are going to use the dynamic lights you also need recess sodium options in order to make the options work so that's basically it for the neo forward section and the fabric section is the exact same for 1.21.1 it is the exact same setup for this now for forge only up to 1.20 would the shaders work with the same setup however for that it would be ambedium and oculus the previous tutorial did show this but for 1.21.1, which is what this entire video is focused on, it does not work. And that's because Oculus does not exist beyond 1.20. So like 1.21 does not have Oculus. What you would need is Optifine for shaders, but of course, it's probably at that point better to just go with Neoforge or Fabric. Okay, so we're now in the game. Go to Options, go to Video Settings, and then you go to Shader Packs. And then you'll see your Shader Packs here. And if you have the Euphoric Patches with Complementary, it would give you the additional option for the plus Euphoric Patches. Real quick, I'm going to run into Minecraft to show you that it works. If you want Shaders for Forge for the older version of Minecraft, go check out the tutorial that I mentioned earlier. And we should have the Shaders working in-game. Yes, we do. So this is Complementary Reimagined, a really great shader along with the Euphoric Patches to add in a bit more detail and stuff and it really looks amazing so thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video like button subscribe and subscribe and be tough to us guys thank you for taking a good